picture line number four is the hover corte. The entrance for this picture line, we're gonna use promenade position. We will then dance the hover corte, and for an exit, we're going to use a back whisk. We'd now like to demonstrate this for you to music. Now for the man's foot positions. We're in promenade position up on the toes. We have forward left, forward right, forward left, rise up to the toe, keeping the right foot pointed, back right, back left, back right, back left, crossing behind into our whisk. And now for your footwork. We have toe heel, heel toe, Toe heel, rising up to the toe of the left foot, pointing the toe of the right, back, toe heel, toe heel, toe, toe heel. And now for your technique. Gentlemen, starting off in promenade, what I want you to focus on first of all is that you're going to have a strong diagonal stretch through your promenade position. I would like you to maintain that angle all the way through the promenade until you land onto your left foot. Then we will commence to rise up and change our shape. It's very important not to change that angle too soon because you'll tip the lady back to your right. So if I can illustrate that backing the camera here. So as you move through, maintain that diagonal stretch until you get onto your left foot. That will enable the lady to progress forward all the way to her right foot without sending her body weight back. So again, I'm, this is the incorrect way of doing the sway, so when you come through, if you start swaying to the right too soon, anticipating the hover corte, you're gonna throw the lady's weight back in the wrong direction. So I wanna emphasize again, maintain that diagonal stretch through your right side, stretching diagonally left. Now from here, as you place the left foot, try to take a fairly uh, small step the lady's on the outside of the turn. It's very important not to outdistance her since she's gonna revolve around you. As you change weight to your left foot, I want you to feel as you rise up through that left leg and hip, you're gonna turn the hips to the left as you rise up, then the body and the head then sway to the right. Again, going on the basis that it's going to be base, body, and then head. So I'd like to demonstrate that one more time. So I rise up, maintain the angle of the promenade, I land on the foot, I come up through the leg, changing the angle of the hips and the thighs. Now my body and head are in the same alignment, stretching through my left side. I land on my right foot, maintaining that sway. I then start to level off as I go back into my whisk. Now I'd like to invite Heather to show us the ladies' part. Now the ladies' foot positions for this figure. So as Victor has mentioned, we commence this figure from promenade position. So we step out in promenade. And now from here, my foot positions will be right foot forward, swiveling. Left foot brushes in towards right foot. Left foot forward, right foot forward, left foot forward, swiveling. Right foot crosses behind left foot, and we're in promenade position. And now the footwork. We have heel, toe brush, toe heel, heel, toe, toe, heel. And now for the technique. On this particular action, what I'd like you to think of is because we are going to be rising a little bit sooner than the man, his footwork actually is flat as we are starting to swing up on our toe. What I'd like you to do is, um, we are on the outside of the turn, we are traveling faster. He is in a static position. so. What I want you to do, and I'll, I'll show you this in a second with Victor, is I want you to be very, very aware of the man's center line and make sure that you don't travel too quickly past him because you can, uh, you know, quite easily, number one, pull yourself off balance, but number two, um, take him with you as well. So once we've danced in promenade position, ladies, as I swing up here and I'm going past the man at this stage, I'm going past him, as I swivel my feet, you can see that my body is still towards Victor. 
I have not swiveled my feet and kept rotating. That is a huge, huge fault for this figure. So once you're on the outside of the turn, you're aiming to dance past the man. Once you get to that position, allow the feet to rotate. The body will rotate slightly, but not so much that you're going to take uh, both the partnerships to the point of imbalance. Okay, then from that figure, from this action, I'm going to step forward. Victor starts to dissolve the sway at this time. I'm going forward and forward again. And even though this step could be considered a side step, I personally like to move forward and swivel onto it for my whisk. And at this stage, I will invite Victor back with me and I'll just do a little bit more technique for my part. So I just want to describe and do this in an, a loose hold, ladies. So watch, I am on the outside of the turn. I am traveling past Victor. I swivel my feet, but my arms belong to my partner. Now, what I want you to notice at this stage is that I'm going to feel that as I'm extending, I'm pushing up through the spine, the shoulders stay down, and then I take the arc and curve through my head. What's uh, very, very important here, uh, ladies, is that once you get to the right foot, is that you don't presume or anticipate the shape before the man leads it. So you want to have that vertical balance through the standing leg, feel like you can push up and then develop your own stretch and arc for that step. So can we just try this again, Victor? So we step forward, forward again, swiveling, up, 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 stretch, forward. And now if you notice, I'm only turning my feet at the very, very end. Now, as Heather has just stated, the ladies are on the outside of the turn, and that is why, gentlemen, I've emphasized to you, take a smaller step on your left foot so the lady has the opportunity to step past you. Because as you continue to rotate, you do not want to knock her backwards. So if the step is too big and you start to rotate, you will take the lady past her right foot. Now, as Heather has talked about the rotation, we want to rotate. Now, the action that's going to counterbalance that rotation will be the sway. So I'd like to just do that going away from the camera so they can get an idea of how much sway we're using. So here's the promenade. We move through. As we rotate, we're going to have a strong sway to the man's right and the lady's left. Very, very important that when we go into the hover corte, we do not stay in what we call a flat or level position. So if she turns, we're perfectly level, and of course the weight is knocked back. So the sway will stop that rotation from taking you too far around. So gentlemen, as you come up through that left leg, you're gonna turn through the hip, changing the angle strongly so you have a strong right sway, again, allowing the head to match the spine. Now the last thing I'd like to say is the use of the hands and the arms. So gentlemen, as you go through the promenade position and the ladies on the outside, feel as though the hands and arms are very free in going with the lady's shape. Do not hold your arms to your own frame because you will restrict the shape that the lady uh, will give you. So we'd like to demonstrate that for you one more time. We'll do it in closed hold. So we go through our promenade, we land on the foot, we change shape, and now we come out. Now. We've used waltz as our basic entry into this figure. Now this figure is not usually danced in tango, but it is common in quick step and also foxtrot. So we'd like to demonstrate in those dances. So we have slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow. And that is your hover corte. <laughs> 